Well, a good Friday morning to you. We've got uh, some chemtrail skies over here in the southeast. Where the sun is, and they're working their little toxic magic up there. But we're going to go in real quick and take a look. Um, we've got an old round tripper about to come around. I didn't see it on the edge yet, but we'll we'll check together and. When we go in, uh, it's the old grouping of 2682 and 83. Um, I thought that the one would be on the edge today, but I'm just not seeing it quite yet. But like I said, we'll check when we go in. And I would guess a day or two later is when the other one would come around. And they'll be numbered differently, of course, once they come into view. That should give us a good look at it. Now apparently, let's get out of this first. Now apparently yesterday, there was a partial solar eclipse that the SDO caught. It was quite uh, odd seeing those pictures. But then I'm a novice at the SDO stuff, so... It was just that the one that I saw, the one that was on the SDO AIA 4500, Nemesis Maturity is about the only channel I saw that had this one version of it. So I went and got some pictures of it. I, I don't know how to download the movie part of it, but but it sure did look like the moon was turning, like it was uh, rotating, spinning as it eclipsed. Now it could have just been a perception thing because of the uh, yellow sun that they were showing and it was kind of transparent and bit. It could have been a visual thing, a trick of the eye type thing. But it sure did look like it was uh, turning and spinning. Not like the uh, usual type of moon. But again, it was probably just a trick of the trick of the eye, I guess. Anyway, the um, tonight and tomorrow, and I think the next night, we're going to have, uh, should have a good show of the meteor showers over here in the uh probably around 2 a.m i guess over here in the southeast and then south and southwest when orion comes up we'll be going through the uh debris trail of Halley's comet so we go through that uh like twice a year and the one report showed uh we might be able to see about 80 fireballs an hour possibly so I don't know if you have clear skies and it's not too cold out. <laughs> you might want to look and see where Orion is. Check for, it's easy to find Orion's belt. Uh, and look in that direction. And you might be able to see some fireballs streaking across the sky. They've been catching a few of them the last few days. But that one apparently, I thought I reported on this a couple months ago. But uh, apparently there's uh, another moon circling the Earth. It's got this weird orbit. It's like it's going up and around, over and around, uh, over top of us. They've numbered it 2016 something or other. So that means it was just discovered last year. It's about 150 to 300 foot uh, in diameter. And yeah, piece of rock up there. We can't really see it with our, uh, I, I think you have to have a, pretty good telescope to be able to see something that small and I think they said it was like 8 million miles away I don't know but I could have swore that we just uh, talked about that recently maybe it was another time shift I don't know <laughs> anyway so lots of stuff going on so I hope you can get out there to watch the uh, meteor showers tonight as we go through Haley's Comet Debris Trail and have a spectacular show up there as long as it all stays up there and all is calm down here <laughs> already a wonderful day to you take care and bye for now